I'm just saying spine surgery sounds scary, but it may be necessary to repair an injury or correct a deformity. And there's a new surgery at Memorial Spine. It is a robotic surgery that is said to have results that with better outcomes, quicker recovery, mm -hmm. and fewer complications. And joining us now from Memorial Spine Center of Excellence, Dr. Raphael Roybal and patient Carrie Ann Lacrone. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you. Welcome, doctor. We were talking a little bit uh, off air about this. It's called robotic surgery, but when people think of robotic surgery, they think of the hands outside the body, the doctor holding with the uh, probes, but that isn't what this is. That's correct, um, and that's how I thought of it as well. The, the first robots in surgery in general, uh, the robot was doing a lot of the work, and that's not the case uh, for the spine. Uh, the, ro the surgeon is still using his hands, his judgment to do the surgery, but what the robot provides is kind of like a GPS system for the spine. Obviously, the spine has a very complicated anatomy, and we use a lot of x-ray and pre-operative planning to determine mm -hmm. what we need to do or how to fix a certain pathology. What the robot provides is as a guide, basically, of that anatomy that you can merge with the patient's pre-operative planning imaging, like, say, a CT scan, and any x-rays that you might get in the operating room. What it provides, basically, is another means to accurately perform minimally invasive spine surgery without um, a lot of the question marks that come from that, or also without a lot of undue radiation in the operating room from taking thousands of x-rays to figure out where you are. Oh, okay. You know, we said at the start, I mean, it, spine uh, surgery just sounds scary. Going in, just how scared were you? And then how did you find this process to, to make it a lot easier than you might have thought it was going to be? Well, going in, I just was really anxious to have something done so my back right. didn't hurt anymore, my legs. And um, I, I don't know, it was just, I wasn't that afraid. I guess I had a good yeah. guy. You were in good yeah. <laughs> Well, tell us what your problem was, first of all. All right, well, it started last um, Thanksgiving, really. Um, I started having pain down my leg and then down the bottom of my leg. And it just, you know, it just kept getting worse and worse. I couldn't walk yeah. very far. I, I could sit, thank God, and lay, sleep. But you couldn't walk. But walking was awful, yeah. Was it sciatica? I mean, or, no. or what, pe not, it wasn't sciatica. It, it's a, it a, a variant of sciatica. It was a nerve. Yeah, it was it's a nerve issue. Nerve issue. Was it, uh, was it damage to the nerve, or was it compression? Compression on the nerve. Usually when people have leg pain from a spinal problem, it's a pinched nerve, basically. Right. And sciatica is... Is, is specifically referring to the nerve that's in the back of the leg. So, so a pinched nerve can result in sciatica, mm -hmm. but a pinched nerve is not always sciatica. Right. Uh, what, uh, uh, what people a lot, a lot of times have is difficulty walking, mm -hmm. and those symptoms we call neurogenic claudication. Of course, it has to sound fancy, but that means <laughs> painful walking, basically. Okay. And that's exactly <laughs> what right. we're yeah. dealing with with this. So now, so you had the surgery, and mm -hmm. now, were you, how long did it take you for recovery? How long are they in the hospital? Usually overnight, and, yeah, I, and I believe that was the situation here. That was that, yeah. Wow. About 36 hours, I think, it was from surgery to clinic. And then how quick before you were up and moving about and doing whatever you wanted to do? Oh, they had me up. I was in early in the morning, and I, they had me up by noon walking. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And no pain, That's none amazing. of the pain. That's amazing. Only. And you say this is minimally invasive spine surgery. That is correct. Minimally invasive spine surgery basically implies uh, that you're saving the soft tissues around the spine as much as possible. So a lot of people describe collateral damage when you're doing surgery. Right. This is a way to minimize collateral damage. So we preserve the muscle as much as we can. We preserve the normal anatomy as much as we can. And this is directed very specifically to just where the pathology is. So in that sense, uh, minimally invasive uh, means minimal uh, trauma to tissues that don't need to have trauma uh, afflicted to and, them. And is the spine especially an area that you want to be minimally invasive with? Uh, I, I would say it's one of them. Uh, right. Most areas, if you can preserve the natural tissue, absolutely. But the spine has certain critical key elements that make it even more important. Yeah. For example, we used to consider uh, what happens to the other levels of the spine if you had to do something to the pathological level. And with more research, we're finding out that if you preserve the adjacent levels mm -hmm. without having to get into them during your surgery, then they usually do fine, and they won't have any issues like a domino effect, if you will. Right. right. So it's called Mazor Robotics 
Co correct. Is the the, uh, the company that makes the robot is uh, Mazor Robotics. Uh, this is a uh, company that's been around for a long time, and they've been perfecting uh, this guidance system. Uh, the robot is pretty impressive, but the software is fantastic, and that's basically the latest development that has allowed it to merge a CT scan that you get beforehand when you're planning the surgery with a couple of shots in the OR of x-ray, and you have your whole map through right. which to operate. So you went from, from debilitating back and leg pain to within, what did you say, 36 hours? You were up dancing, right? <laughs> no, I'm not quite. <laughs> okay, <laughs> close, close though. Yes. <laughs> Doctor, thank you so much, and we're glad you had such a great result. Thank you. <laughs> you can learn more about this by going to memorialhealth.com, and it will uh, go to the Spine Center there, and you can read all about it. Thank you both, Sylvia. Thank you. Thank you. Preparing your home for sale. Thanks.